Today is the day we've all been excitedly waiting for. Cult leader Hamza has just exposed himself. He proudly dropped this little gem of a community post talking about how everybody needs to be mindless. This is the same guy that promotes mindfulness and meditation and self-improvement. So why is he telling you to be mindless? Quote unquote, don't question the plan. Find your role model and do whatever he says. Put mindless, blind faith in one single entity. And then when that entity disappears, find another one and do it all over again. Now he tries to cushion this by saying only to develop your critical thinking skills after you've finished being a Jeffrey. So if you've recently stopped being a Jeffrey, or you're still in the middle of the process of self-development, don't develop your critical thinking skills. Only listen to me. Only listen to me. So where does that leave us with this little expose? Well, if you came here thinking that I am a part of the army against Hamza, I'm sorry, Jeffrey. I've been a member of this cult since the very beginning, bro. <laughs> I've been a member of this cult since that first I want to make a cult video dropped. Get clickbaited. Seriously though, let's discuss this community post a little bit more in depth because there's three things that I personally have used my level 35 critical thinking skills to kind of dissect this little community post and see what it's all about. So I think that there's three main topics that he's trying to get across here. He wants you to find a religion. The second one is he wants you to find a consistent mentor. And the third one is he wants you to genuinely develop your critical thinking skills. He wants you to criticize this post. Now, for those of you who have been watching Hamza for quite some time now, you'll, you'll remember that back when he was in Dubai, he was started picking up the Quran. I don't know if that's how you actually pronounce it, but he started picking up the Quran, which is a religious book of the Islamic faith, I believe. I'm just going off memory. So he started picking up a religious book and actually started devoting more of his time into developing his faith into a deity. Now, this post could be a reference to that, where for the last six months or so, he's been developing his spiritual side to be able to be more connected with his inner self and a higher power that he wants to personally connect to. For me and my wife, that's personally Buddha. We are Buddhists here. It's just a really chill religion. We love Buddha. Buddha loves us. But if this post was simply talking about religion, I probably wouldn't be making this video. Because the real reason that I think that he made this post is, yes, he wants you to blindly follow him. But why is that? He always talks about mindfulness. Why does he want you to be mindless and follow him? That's, that's ridiculous. Why? Why not? Honestly, think about it from this perspective. Has Hamza made a single video that steered you off into a bad direction? If he has, point it out to me in the comments. I'd love to actually find this out. But from the time that I've watched him and known him, he has not. I mean, sure, you could talk about the two arcs that he had, the one when he was in Thailand and the one when he was in Dubai, where he was had a team of like 12 people and was highly editing and super editing and super hyper stimulating his content and everything. We could talk about those as steering the wrong way, but the message behind them was still in good faith. He just needed a way to like attract audiences. I don't have a team, I don't have members. I literally have 10 subscribers as of the making this video. So I genuinely don't have anything other than me, myself, this desk, and my very precious Tom Ford cologne. But I digress. Hamza knows that he has the general self-improvement community on lock. Like, this shit tight. <laughs> he is not letting go of this space. And he doesn't need to, nor wants to anyways. When you make a channel that's about self-improvement in some way, Hamza is directly your opposition. You are in a combat ring against Hamza. And he will knock you out. I mean, he probably knocked me out. I, I, I don't got guns like he does. I mean, come on now. <laughs> it probably wouldn't even be a 15 second round. <laughs> the point I'm trying to make is that 
With Hamza being your opposition on self-improvement, even though he encourages you to go and make a self-improvement channel, how can you compete against that? Well, if you fight fire with fire, you'd have to bring a hell of a flamethrower. Okay, so that doesn't work for me because I don't have a flamethrower. So instead, what I personally did is that I have this channel dedicated more to kind of like self-improvement for long distance relationships because how I met my wife, I can tell my kids that in the future actually, how I met your mother. <laughs> how I met my wife was I went over to Vietnam. I was going on a trip to vacation in Vietnam just to slay, honestly. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, just to slay. I, I was like 24 years old and down in the dumps and everything. So I went there just to slay. And real quick, just like a real quick summary, I went to go and grab something to eat. She was with a study group in university. It was her and three of her friends that were all studying English. And then my wife invited me down to help them study English because they could see I'm white. So obviously I know English, right? And I asked them an English question. So then I helped down study them and then I got all of their phone numbers, but obviously I only kept hers because I mean, she was the cutest. Right? And I, I was planning something, but nothing ever actually came of that initially. But then before I left Vietnam, I did ask her to be my, my girlfriend and everything. And yada yada, history, history. Which isn't the point of this video. The point of this video and the point that I'm trying to make here is that the reason why Hamza wants you to develop self-critical, like, critical thinking skills is because if you blindly follow him and you never improve, that's not what this post is about. This post is about blindly following him and his advice. This isn't about blindly following his channel. This isn't about blindly following him as a person. This is about blindly following his advice. If this man tells you to jump off a bridge, and not only does he tell you to jump off the bridge, but he jumps off the bridge first. He takes the first plunge. Are you going to be the one that also takes that plunge with him, or are you going to be scared and overthink it and then you've lost out because what was below that bridge a cool ass little jelly river you lost out tough shit the third thing that hamza oh god the sun <laughs> okay so the third thing that hamza is challenging you to do is to actually criticize this post which is what this whole video is is a criticism of that post I don't think that it's right that you blindly follow a person or a religion or, you know, put all of your faith in just one actor. That actor may have your best interest at heart, but here's where the big but comes in and where the critical thinking comes in. And this kind of critical thinking isn't overthinking. It's just taking a moment to think, is this in the best interest for me? If it is, go do it. If it's not, go find someone else that guides you in that specific area that you need guidance in. For example, if you need guidance and help in maintaining a relationship, because I didn't really have too much game. Like, I'm going to be honest, I didn't have too much game when it came to picking up females. But if you need assistance keeping a female, or if you need assistance developing online relationships, I can be your mentor. Little plug. <laughs> okay, but then like the other thing about it is that when you do develop your critical thinking skills and you take a moment to think, is this the best course for me? It makes you realize that most often you're not like, actually, this should be a thing for everyone. You don't want to just blindly follow everything that one single person does. You want to get a mentorship from this person and this person and this person and this person. You want to get a few mentors. You want to get maybe two to four mentors at max four. If you get five mentors, you're probably splitting yourself up too much and you're not going to actually see results. You're probably just coping and watching internet videos just for the sake of watching internet videos, okay? So find, in my opinion, it's best to find two to four mentors and follow the advice that they give that you believe in good faith to help you in your situation. That is what I truly believe that this community post is all about. 
blindly follow most of what someone says. And the places where they fall short, you find somebody else that they pick up in. So that's a beautiful thing about interacting with people and having communities and relationships with other people is that other people build up where you fall short. We don't want to be generalists. We want to be specialists in one area because then we can rely on other people to help us with our shortcomings and we can help other people with their shortcomings. That's a beautiful friendship and relationship, especially when you actually keep each other in check when you make sure that each other is good, when you're just making sure that everything's okay, these kind of friendships are very, very rare to find these days. Let's also talk about one last talking point, which is the fact that Hamza's not going to be around here forever. He's not going to be on YouTube for longer than, I'm gonna give it a timeline of two to three years. Because here's the thing, Hamza has mentioned multiple times that he's not, he, like, he's here to help people, yes, but ultimately his main purpose in life at this moment in time is to make enough money to ride off into the sunset, find his woman, and make babies with her. He just wants enough money to be able to comfortably retire her and her, his kids and give his kids any kind of life that they would want. And Hamza's making enough money right now that he'll be able to be done with that in like two to three years. I mean, that's just at his current income. That's not including any like future income that he makes or any other projects, okay? So Hamza isn't going to be here forever. There is going to be a point in time where he is going to retire. And that part of the post talking about how you need, when, when that starts falling off, you need to find somebody else to pick up the slack. That is a very, very key point because one of my original mentors, when I first started getting into the YouTube space, one of my original mentors was a man by the name of Kevin Samuels. Kevin Samuels shaped a huge part of my life and development as a man. He was the one that actually encouraged me. Well, he didn't encourage me directly, but he, his videos encouraged me to up my game, up my spot, up my life, up my level, and just make the best version of myself each and every day, right? That was his shtick. Be the best version of yourself each and every day. Look good, smell great. The ultimate point is that Hamza's not gonna be here forever. Nobody's here forever. So when the mentor that you do have does end up riding off into the sunset and isn't here anymore, you need to find somebody else to fill that gap. Or, or, you can be the one to fill that gap. Because if he does leave, who's gonna replace him? Cal Rahm is a pretty good contestant, honestly. Cal's got some really good content. I can't think of too many other people that do self-improvement in a very similar, relatable way that Hamza does. If you know someone, let me know. Sit, write it down in the comments, let other people know, God. Also let me know what your thoughts are of Hamza in general. What his community post is. Did you get baited? I mean, I'm, I'm gonna make this video as clickbaity as possible, but I'm still gonna try and give like valid, good criticism and good talking points regardless. If you found this interesting to look into, give the video a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel about it. I feel like this video is gonna be wild. And also subscribe to my channel if you feel like I could be one of your mentors in terms of like keeping a long distance relationship or just keeping a good relationship in general. Because I've been married for four years now. Well, three years, but next month is gonna be our four year anniversary. So I've got a lot of experience when it comes to actually keeping a relationship. If you are interested in that, subscribe to my channel and share this video out. Maybe we can get Hamza's attention. Maybe I won't, who knows? But I'm hopeful that it'll happen anyways. With all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Remember to always look good, smell great, and be the best version of yourself each and every day. May the Godfather rest in peace. Take care, all.